Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to find the value of integration of cos inverse of 6th root of x dx integration limit from 0 to 1. So let us get started. Now, consider the function y equal to sin inverse of 6th root of x. So, x will be equal to sine raised to 6 of y. Okay. So, for x equal to 0, y will be equal to 0. And for x equal to 1, y will be equal to pi over 2. Now, let us draw the graph of sin inverse of 6th root of x. So, the graph of sin inverse of 6th root of x will look something like this. Okay. So, x is from 0 to 1 and y is from 0 up to pi over 2. Okay. Now, now consider this area as the red area and consider this area as the green area. Okay. Now, so red area will be equal to integration of sin inverse of 6th root of x dx integration limit from 0 to 1 and the green area will be equal to integration of sin raised to 6 of y dy integration limit from 0 up to pi over 2. Okay. And we can see that when we combine both these regions, it becomes a rectangle. Rectangle with width equal to 1 and height equal to pi over 2. So, when we add these two areas, this will be equal to pi over 2 times 1, which is the area of this rectangle. So, this will be equal to pi over 2. Okay. So, integration of sin inverse of 6th root of x dx integration limit from 0 to 1 plus integration of sin raised to 6 of y dy integration limit from 0 up to pi over 2 will be equal to pi over 2. Okay. Now, now consider the inverse trigonometric identity. Sin inverse of 6th root of x plus the cos inverse of 6th root of x will be equal to pi over 2. This is the inverse trigonometric identity. So, integration of sin inverse of 6th root of x dx integration limit from 0 up to 1 plus the integration of cos inverse of x dx sorry, cos inverse of 6 root of x dx, integration limit from 0 to 1 will be equal to pi over 2 times integration of dx, integration limit from 0 to 1. Okay. So, 
sum of these two integrals will be equal to pi over 2 times 1 because integration of dx integration limit from 0 to 1 will be 1. So this is also equal to pi over 2. Okay. So consider this as equation number 2 and this as equation number 1. Okay. So equation number 1 and 2 both are equal to pi over 2. And in both the left hand side of both the equations, we have integration of sine inverse of 6 root of x dx integration limit from 0 to 1. So both these are equal and they have a same term. That means integration of cos inverse of 6th root of x dx integration limit from 0 to 1 will be equal to integration of sin raised to 6 of y dy integration limit from 0 to pi over 2. Okay. Now, now we have an identity. If i of n is equal to integration of sin raised to n of y dy integration limit from 0 to pi over 2 then i of n will be equal to n minus 1 over n times i of n minus 2 where i of 0 will be equal to pi over 2 and i of 1 will be equal to 1. Okay, so if we compare this with this, we can see that n is equal to 6. Okay, so i of 6 will be equal to pi over 6 times i of 4. Okay, i of 4 will be equal to 3 over 4 times i of 2. i of 2 will be equal to 1 over 2 times i of 0. And i of 0, as we know, it is pi over 2. Okay. So if we simplify this, we get 3 1s are 3 and 3 2s are 6. Okay. So, i of 6 is equal to this, which when simplified will be equal to phi times pi in the numerator and denominator will be equal to 32. Okay. So, i of 6 is equal to phi times pi over 32. That means integration of sin raised to 6 of y dy integration limit from 0 to pi over 2 will be equal to phi times pi over 32. Okay, that means the value of our given integral is also equal to phi times pi over 32. And we found the answer. So this was all for this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give us a like and get subscribed to our channel to get more such videos. See you all in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.